Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. You love Shiny. It's me, Shiny, your favorite Southern Belle with a cocktail. And that's on what? Say it with me now. Period. <laughs> Alright y'all, so today is a lunch bang because it's the same day upload. So this is Sprite and not a cocktail. Alright, so we have, you can tell from the title that we have Hearts Chicken, which ironically I have fried fish. They fish is so fire. I pass on the chicken, but they fish is too good to pass up. I haven't eaten in a long time, so I was like, well, let me give it a go. They cook it to order, so that's that. Because a lot of people go in there and order their chicken. All right, y'all. So if you are new here, please make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave lots of comments to let me know that you stopped by. I can't even get this in. And hit the bell to be notified every single time I, she, me, her, uploads a new video. Or go live. I do go live. We always start here, so cheers. Basic Sprite. Okay, y'all, so I got my ketchup right here for my fries. They don't, generally, they don't usually season their fries, so I took the liberty of seasoning mine with sea salt and Cajun seasoning. That's what we got. Okay, y'all, so we got a two-piece fish, fries, just a fish basket. Fish fries and a roll, they rolls are good. So let's get into it. Y'all, make sure to follow me on my socials and check out my website at youloveshiny.com <laughs> all of this information will be in the description box below along with the links to the mug bag rules i'll put it right here their links will be in the description box below as well just like every video so yeah it's good <laughs> it is good it doesn't even need the ketchup, but the ketchup is just like the cherry on top. Mm. Super crunchy. Mm, mm, mm. So y'all, happy Monday, first of all. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day. I am. Mm. It's good. So it's Monday. There's no grocery haul. This is the Monday video. Mm. Okay. I actually didn't even go grocery shopping today. How about that? <laughs> I brought tradition. Didn't even go grocery shopping today because we just need like minimal stuff like bread, milk, mm -hmm. of course drinks because I get drinks back. Like. That is super crunchy and flaky. Look how I just fell out. <laughs> Maybe I didn't think this out too good. But it tastes good. So yeah, I'm saying we just need minimal stuff. No, nah, nothing worth the grocery haul. Mm -mm. It's going to be a too many grocery haul. Because it's just going to be milk, bread, uh, drinks, and fruit. That's it. So I was like, why well, don't just have lunch with y'all instead since it's no grocery haul? <laughs> Not today. Not today. But we got us some good crunchy fried fishes. So good. Can y'all tell I'm hungry? I ain't ate all day. It's lunchtime for real. Mm. <laughs> it's the seasoning. Because they don't season there. They just give you fried milk fries with no seasoning. <laughs> Now, I had them on the channel before, but it's been a long time. A long time. This is about the only, besides like your family cooking it, but this is like the only cornmeal fried fish that I like. 
I do not like cornmeal for her fish. This one is fire. It's good. But yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, I be going back when I'm editing, looking. I'm like, girl. <laughs> Crazy. What y'all? I want to talk about the Millennium Tour. So I live in Houston, Texas. The Millennium Tour was just this past weekend. Saturday, October 23rd. Today is Monday, October 25th. Y'all, if you got a chance and they coming to your city, baby, buy the tickets. The tickets worth it. They are a little steep. They are. Luckily, somebody invited me because them tickets were steep, and I'm so thankful. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we went to the Millennium Tour Saturday night, it was amazing. Let me tell you the lineup first of all, we was like. We were scheduled to be on time, but the traffic to get into the arena was out like, it took us like 30 to 40 minutes to get to our parking spot because they had a sign parking when you get in there. Actually, what's crazy is they say a sign parking, but they just directing you at a park. Anyway. It's not like a sign park spot. Like I'm going to tell y'all the lineup. We was late. I said that already. So I missed, or we missed. We missed Sammy and um Lloyd. And I'm kind of mad because Lloyd brought out Roscoe Dash. Who, if y'all don't know who Roscoe Dash, he's from Houston. A rapper. No hands. Roscoe Dash. I'm kind of salty. I missed that. Salty. Especially since it's due to our parking situation. Like, it was at the, if you're familiar with Houston, it was in Sugarland, not even Houston. It wasn't even in Houston. It was in Sugarland at Smart Financial Center, which is a concert venue. Mm. People was coming in from two different sides. Merge them all to this one, these couple of lanes, so, so they can direct you where to park. And they started on time. So if you're going to your city, be on time. Went to dinner before, and it was so good. To this little small place called Sleepy's Po' Boys on the Southwest. Mm. By Carrington's. Mm-hmm. Went to Sleepy's Paw Boys. That was fire. <laughs> then went to the concert. It was lit. Uh, when we got there, it was Soulja Boy. I said I was going to tell y'all the lineup. Okay, so the lineup was um, Sammy, Lloyd, Soulja Boy, Pretty Ricky, Ashanti, Omarion, and Bow Wow. Uh, now, my analytics say a lot of y'all are my age or right around my age. So, this is all of our era. Like, we grew up with all of these artists. And that's what um one of the members from Pretty Ricky was saying. 
spectacular. He was like, y'all, if you in here, that means y'all grew up with us. We are all around the same age. We got kids now. Some of us have grandchildren. Yeah, it's crazy. So when I got there with Soldier Boy, y'all know Soldier Boy is Tart. If y'all know Soldier, <laughs> he's a Leo like me. Period. But y'all know Soldier Boy is super turn. Super turn. Okay, so we was lit on that. They had some strong drinks, and I mean strong in the arena. But the price it should have been strong, but hey. Anyway. <laughs> drinks was a fire. They dishing out top notch margaritas. They had all your good look at your top shelf look. They had everything. But anyway, that's what my drink is. So went in, Soulja Boy was turned up to the max. After Soulja Boy was Yin Yang Twins. Did I say Yin Yang Twins? If I didn't, Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> Y'all my age right now. Soulja Boy, Yin Yang Twins. Well, first it was Sammy, but I miss him. Sammy, Lloyd, Soulja Boy, then come Yin Yang Twins. Y'all know what kind of party man look. <laughs> Baby, we was too lit. We had so much fun. Man look. What's a fun little date night idea? Concert? Do it. Cute little date. It's fun. <laughs> date night or whatever. After yin yang, y'all know everybody was twerking. <laughs> everybody. The line to the drinks was long and stuff like, you know, it was lit. We came down to have a good time and we did. And did. But after yin yang twin, Pretty Ricky. Even though Bow Wow's the headliner, Pretty Ricky told up. They had it so lit and so loud, cause they y'all know. If y'all know Pretty Ricky, y'all know what type of party it is. It kind of turns into the romantical type of thing, but they doing all this. Yeah, they really performed. Like, they really performed. They had girl dancers, so you know what kind of, I can't even describe it because it's going to be kind of explicit. But I would say this is not a concert for your kids if your kids are not 18 and up. This concert is not for your children. I'm telling y'all right now. People brought their kids, but this is not a concert for your children. It's not. It ain't. Just think about it. It was like totally adult, like a total adult vibe when you walk in. Everything being thrown. I can't even tell y'all. So y'all came in on Soldier Boy. Yeah, it was lit. Okay, so after Pretty Ricky showed out, had everybody screaming, going crazy. Um, then they did individual sets. So they did have one member missing, but they had Baby Blue, Spectacular. Pleasure P. They had individual sets even more lit. Especially when Pleasure P did. Oh, y'all know him. <laughs> Boyfriend number two, it was so lit. Crazy. So then after Pretty Ricky and they did their individual sets, that was so lit. Ashanti. Here come Ashanti. Tad it up. <laughs> See, man, look. Ashanti was twerking. It was. It was. It was like crazy. Packed out. Looked to be sold out. It looked sold out. Have some good seats. We can see everything. Mm. Everything. <laughs> y'all don't laugh. This for real. <laughs> this concert was sold out. I'm telling y'all, if they come to see our city, go. If you can, I suggest you go. Don't miss this one. The last one was canceled. 
Y'all know why. So they came back like they went in. They went in. Mm. Ashanti say foolish for last, baby. After she performed all the classics, she really performed. Y'all know Ashanti is a performer, though. <laughs> she gonna put something on. She gonna be looking cute. Ashanti is known for looking good. She just had a birthday. It was too lit. Ashanti brought out Lloyd. She brought Lloyd back out to sing Southside. Then she brought out Slim Thug, who is a hometown hero. A rap, y'all know Slim Thug. Slim Thug had a little small set. It was lit. Yeah, it started at eight, y'all. If you wonder, like, how is Ali? Yeah, it started at eight. I'll tell you when we got out. After I tell you who else. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. So. After Ashanti told the stage up, she's the only female. Can you imagine being the only female on this tour? She's the only female on this tour. And eight. She killed it. She killed it. Okay, so then after Ashanti was Omarion. Y'all know Omarion. <laughs> Y'all already know Omarion. He did the... Man, it was too lit, y'all. It was too lit. So then Omarion tore it up. Y'all already know with Touch and all them good hits and stuff. He um, debuted some of his new music because he got a new album coming out. Um, Orion was his DJ. All these had, um, when he was talking in between sets, all these people had a live band. So all this music was backed, was like a straight live band. Live band. Mm -hmm. So when Omarion started talking about, you know, talking in between songs and stuff, Orion was his DJ. But back to the live music. So they all sung live with a live band. And then after Omarion was, of course, Bow Wow. Y'all know Bow Wow's a performer. He probably been waiting to go on tour for how long? He really, uh, yeah, he deserved to be the headliner, Bow Wow. But pretty, well, after Bow Wow, Pretty Ricky was it for me. Pretty Ricky. I wasn't even a big fan of Pretty Ricky back in the day. Performing, yeah. So of course, Bow Wow brought out at the end. Bow Wow brought out Amarion to sing they hits. Let me hold you. And what's the other one? I can't remember the name of it. That was so lit. Started at eight. All these um acts. Plus they brought out other acts. Yeah, we was there over four hours. Over four hours. Worth every minute. Worth every minute. <laughs> I was just looking around like, dang, this thing. Turn around and look up, all the way up to the ceiling. Like, it's cr crazy packed out. Crazy packed out. So, yeah. Love to see my people perform, needless to say. That was too fun. I haven't been to a concert since. Um, Boosie came to Civic Center. And that was like, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. So I haven't been to a concert in over a year. Has it been a year? Yeah, when Boosie came, I think it was 2020. Or was it 2019? I can't remember. But I haven't been to a concert in a year or two. And this one was so fun. It's, this was a good comeback. This was it. This was it. So we gone, y'all. This is going to be a long video. I already can tell. I ain't really eat the fries. I know I'm not a fan of the fries. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if they... if. The Millennium Tour already came to your city. Did you go? Did you get to go? Are you gonna go? People came down here from Oklahoma. We saw um, a lot of different um, states of license plates. Oklahoma, y'all know Louisiana in the building. Because they live here. But, um, I mean, so many different ones from everywhere. So, y'all, if y'all can get to the Millennium Tour, run, don't walk. I'm gone, y'all. It's worth every penny, too. It's worth it. So it might be a little steep, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every single time I, she, me, her, uploads a video or go live. I'm gone, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Thank you for watching. That Millennium Tool was lit, y'all. I'm not playing, not exaggerating. Like, I can't remember really sitting down one time.
Not one time. Drinks was lit, strong. I'm gone. Because <laughs> I keep talking about it. Y'all make sure if you can, go. Bye. Have a great day.